Welcome to Lesson 2, Landscape for Encaustic Art. Now we're working with the Encaustic Art wax blocks for colour, small iron, and the sealed card to paint on to. The work area is set up as we've done previously for abstracts, with the heated tools on one side, waxes on the other, disposable paper underneath so it can be torn off when it dirties, and tissues at the back so that you can clean everything up. If you're left-handed, you can put the cable in the handle like this with a bit of tape, and set it on to low. You're working on the low temperature mark. Now the wax should melt easily but not be running all over the place. Obviously you hold the iron flat and put it into this area for the first experiments. Now with one colour let's just look at the four effects. The smoothing for the horizon, lifting for the foliage effect, the edge of the iron is pushed through to create grasses and the point of the iron is just touched into the wax touched onto the card to make a spot and then flicked one way and the other for the bird. So you have your horizon, your foliage and the details. There are four sorts of horizons really flat, low hills, the high hills and of course the peaky mountains all can be made with the iron. Progression of landscape goes through one colour, two colours, some foreground with a bit of sky and then a full blown landscape all made with the iron. The details of flowers can then be developed, water can be added, other things, and eventually you come with your full landscape picture. We'll have a look at this one right now though. To start off with, you're going to make the sky and need lots of white, and we're working in a, in a sort of an angled direction. See the angle that the colour is being put on, like this? Not too much colour, mind, because it's very strong, so that when you pull the iron across, the point is at the bottom, so as not to get any trailing point marks through the wax. You can go over it as often as you like. The more often you go over it, the more mixed up it becomes. And if you go over it to make it liquid and warm and then sort of swoosh through it at an angle, you can create a bit more direction. So you get these sort of um, oblique paths of uh, movement in the sky. Now using two colours, the olive green number 23 and the brown or 45 stage green and, and uh, number 14 brown, load that part of the iron and then smooth gently right the way across the card, back and across again so that you lay on the colour and at the same time you create different thicknesses of that colour so it gives a sort of depth to the landscape. Hold the card in your hand when you do the dabbing and avoid touching the top edge of the iron otherwise you get arc marks and then to put in the colour harmony just add colours that are in the sky and already in the picture like the brown, the blue, the, the sort of cerisi pink colour and dab those on so they blend into the foreground this gives a far better colour harmony then again using the edge of the iron make sure that wax doesn't dribble out as you're doing this so clean it first just slide up through some uh, sort of random long and short results dot onto the two colours of green and brown for the bird, just make the spot remember and then flick one way and the other way. Again watch out for wax dripping out of the end, make sure it's clean before you start. And for these flowers be as random as you can in doing the dots otherwise it looks a little bit preconceived, uh, trying too hard. Once it's cooled down, which doesn't take very long, just give it a light polishing and then you've got your finished encaustic art landscape all made with the iron. Everything you need is in the art set, apart from the iron, but you've got waxes, card, instructions, and then the Learn the Skills DVD will show you the picture that we've just been through in more detail, as well as many other techniques using stamps, onto fabric and so on. And a bigger picture simply shows you how to work onto a uh, landscape in A3 size. I hope you enjoyed our landscape and encaustic art. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.